great to see you again. What have you got for us in, in terms of uh, particularly women who don't want to be in their running shoes uh, for a little style, a little comfort, but also getting into something that is a little more appropriate for spring and summer? Spring and summer, yeah. Definitely. Everyone is wanting to sort of get out, do things. Uh, there's some great sandal summer options. There's also what I call athleisure, these sort of in-between shoes where you're not dressing up, but you don't want to look like you're trying to run a marathon, that nice in-between. So we'll start with some sandals. Uh, there's some things that are kind of new. A lot of people have heard of the Hoka brand. This is a newer sandal by them. It's a water sandal. It's got the hiking tread. So literally you can jump in the water, keep going, do your walks, and it dries out. So just a fun, supportive, uh, very cushioned, sport sandal. Uh, if something like that's too rugged, there's some fun little things like this. This is actually a Dansko. Everybody knows Dansko for their clogs. They have really branched out. And this is a fun, very cushioned, fill a cushion in there, cushioned sandal. Again, you can be in the water. Really stable. Yeah, very supportive. It has that, because uh, what you need for summer is something that is a combination of cushion, Cushion's good, but it has to be stable, has to be sturdy. If you've got a sandal or a shoe that's just soft but squishy, it's not providing a lot of support and you kind of get tired. So good stable base. Um, there's some fun things like this. This is a good example of something that, you know, a little dressy, a little fun, leather. It's made with cork, latex, but again, feel how sturdy, fully adjustable. It's good to have adjustability. So this is from Taos. And uh, another great brand made really well, leathers out of Europe, just a really good U.S. brand. But it's nice to have adjustability. When you are on the go vacation uh, or just summertime, our feet swell more than we think. Uh, it's natural, it's normal, I mean, to a certain extent. Um, so you want that adjustability because it just increases comfort and keeps you held well in your footwear. Um, another fun thing is something like this. This is a company, Waldoffer. Uh, it's a German company, hopefully I'm saying that right. But uh, they are, it's a German company, but what's nice about them, made extremely well, but a little surprise here. Because a lot of people think I have orthotics, I'll never be able to wear a sandal. It has a removable footbed. So this can come out and you know, the custom orthotic you made for them can go in. You know what's nice about this one, Jasmine, I know some other shoes have removable footbeds, but the footbed is so supportive and so big, it's actually bigger than the orthotic, and then they won't fit right. Um, what's interesting on this one is this is pretty, pretty closely approximates what thickness an orthotic would be, so I think it would be easy to fit an orthotic for a woman into this wonderful shoe. Yeah, you're totally right, yeah. Um, the, the thickness matters a lot in making sure that it fits well and works. So, and we, there are other styles we're hoping will arrive. Uh, as we've discussed, I guess off camera, there's a lot of supply chain issues. So things are coming in slowly. Um, so I encourage people that if you find any type of shoe of any kind, if you like it, especially the cuter it is, the flashier the color, don't hesitate, get it. Because if you wait and come back later, it could be months before it's available again. Um, one thing we do to help our customers try to be up to date is we do have a email list. And what we'll do is new things come in, we'll take pictures and then send out, you know, a weekly email type of thing, just to update people. Uh, we also will try to take names and call people when certain brands, if they know they want this brand comes in. But it is very tricky uh, because everything's just coming in all broken up. Uh, one fun one, since we're talking about fun summer stuff, a garden clog, house shoe. This is another Dansko. I can zoom in if you want. Zoom in. It's got little dogs on there. Um, this is actually made with recycled sugar cane. Uh, I don't know how they do it, but it's, yeah, recycled sugar cane. So I think that's completely vegan. Uh, very friendly, I think it biodegrades easier. But these are super durable, great insoles. Um, that's I think that's a great idea. Wear this shoe and you'll have sweet feet. <laughs> yeah, it's been a fun one, really popular. They make some pineapple, lots of colors.
But this is a good garden clog house shoe because again, people are at home still walking around barefoot a lot. Having something like this protects the feet. And uh, uh, touch of modern art to boot. Yeah, yeah, awesome. kind of fun, kind of fun. Um, some other things, I talked about sort of that athleisure where people don't want to wear a sporty running shoe per se, mm -hmm. but they do want something that will look a little, little nicer, maybe going with friends, um, but they could still be on their feet all day. And these are some woven, this entire thing, there's no seams up here, so it's very soft, very stretchy, super adjustable. This is actually from Atrex. Uh, every brand now is starting to make this middle category type of thing. Another shoe from Atrex. This has been quite popular, hard to get. Again, I call shoes like this your travel to Europe type of shoe, where you can dress it up a little bit, but it comes with great insoles, arch support, so you can walk all day in it. And these have just been fun when you don't want to wear the mesh bright colored shoe, but you also don't need to dress up, dress up. So that kind of in-between stuff's been quite nice. Uh, Jason, I know that once again, talking about supply and availability and you know, podiatrists just often lean toward, uh, at least on one hand, Brooks and New Balance, uh, but we have fallen in love with Hoka as well. So uh, why don't you combine those two issues of availability and support and what's, what's going on over here in athletic that shoes is, for the spring? Every company makes shoes in similar categories, same support level, you know, type of categories. So if the shoe you've been going with for the longest time isn't available, like we have a stack this thick of people waiting on shoes, but eventually you have to get a shoe. Um, so there might, you might have to go to a different brand um, and find a, a similar alternative. Now you've got to try it on, you've got to test it out and make sure it works for you. But what we have been doing is, you know, racing to get things in. Luckily Hoka, which is a brand that compared to New Balance and Brooks is really new, but it, doctors are loving it. Everyone's loving it. We have people working at Boeing, Costco, uh, you know, on their feet, hard surfaces. And what Hoka is known for is being super lightweight. Um, I don't know if you've held them before, but they're super lightweight. And of course, this one is their most cushion, tons of cushion. And what that offers is obviously shock absorption for the back and knees and everything. But because it's so thick, they want it to walk normal. So they have what's called rocker. And that can help arthritis, uh, fusions, all sorts of medical conditions, as you know. Um, yeah, I found it particularly helpful when we have a condition where the great toe joint just doesn't move. It's called hallux rigidus. But also, when pain is in the center of the ball of the foot, a bunch of different names for that, metatrisalgia and other terms, but pain in the ball of your foot. And what happens then is instead of hitting here, and this is an old, old principle used to help uh, rheumatoid arthritic patients, they used to stick a bar on the outside of that shoe. Okay. So if the force shoe passed the point of pain, but with the rocker, great shock absorption, Hoke has been very helpful for our patient. You're totally right. It addresses a lot of issues. And that's one nice thing is that it, luckily Hoka has had some availability. We've managed to stay in stock better than the other brands. Mm -hmm. And it has just been doing great. Uh, still a little feast, and fa feast or famine in some situations, but Hoka has really been our go-to athletic shoe. And I see it growing greatly. Um, and we'll get Brooks and New Balance in again and, you know, build that back up too, but uh, a brand that a lot of people should check out if they don't know about it. Um, but otherwise, yeah, everyone, everyone's out walking, doing things, so we've got to stay in good footwear, as you know. Yeah. Um, you know, taking care of your feet matters. Well, so as we're moving into spring and summer, uh, consider coming up to Soul Perfection, because Jason's a master in helping <laughs> you select the right shoe for the right foot.